Trouble, trouble everywhere, especially if you're a Democrat. Following a disastrous week and a disastrous first year of the Biden presidency, the disarray is palpable. Simply put, they're at each other's throats and they don't know what to do. No insult to Senators Manchin and Cinema is too nasty, oh no. Maxine Waters told MSNBC they don't care about minorities, they don't care about blacks. The New York Democrat Jamal Bowman, he went further. He singled out Senator Cinema, calling her a traitor to our democracy. It was that kind of incendiary language that made these senators dig in their heels in the first place. How on earth did the Democrats bring their warring factions together? There's more controversy for the vice president. Kamala Harris's new communications director, Jamal Simmons, has been summoned to the Hispanic Congressional Caucus. He has to explain 10-year-old tweets where he appeared to call for deportation of illegals. Simmons back then, ICE, he, back then, he backed ICE deportations. He thought that was great back then. Now he works for the vice president, vice president who is supposed to be working on illegal migration. So what is the party to do? Veteran Democrat James Carville says they should quit being the whining party. But the real strategy has to be delivered by the president. Wednesday afternoon, he holds a solo news conference, first in a long time. What does he do? Pivot away from the far left or double down on the policies that have wrecked his first year? He also has to show that he is up to the job, capable of answering questions without a prompter. Where do they think this venom is going to get them?